Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today is brought to you by the letter Q. Yep, we're going to be making stuff with Q and it's Thursday, April 20th. So let's jump right in and make something amazing. So things that started with letter Q, I was stumped. And so I actually went and watched um, I went to, I was actually, I, I was supposed to be uploading a video and I ended up watching a live with Michelle Scott. And when it was <laughs> time for me to go, I was like, by the way, can you guys um, help me think of some crafty things that start with the letter Q? And some of the ideas were quilting thread, um, which also came up with the quilt which was the one, the one, the only thing that I had thought of this time. Um, but somebody said Q-tips and, um, Michelle was like, oh, you know, you could take the Q-tips and make those flowers. So watch, we are going to be making flowers with Q-tips. We've done this before. Um, and when I saw the, the person say Q-tips, I was like, oh, I can do the Q-tip flowers. We haven't done that in a while. So um, thank you for to Michelle and for her little crafty community that was watching the live um, for helping me <laughs> be able to move on. So I am still working on items for the three prayer journals that are going to go into the Mother's Day gift baskets. And so I have pulled out some paint. I have a stamp. I have a tag, some note papers, uh, some of the green scraps, some of the napkin scrap. These are all scraps that you've seen before. So the first thing is I, I'm going to make um, quilted tags, okay? Because that's the, that's the one thing I was like, oh, well, I can make a quilted tag. We're going to do them different than we usually do. Usually I do them with five items. And this time I don't have five items that I want to use. So we are going, and I only need three tags. Okay, so <laughs> I don't want to make five tags. I want to make three. So... We're going to make a quilted tag using three patterns. Okay. So I've got the one pattern here that I'm using as my template. Okay. And then I am going to take, I did cut out the, um, a couple of these. Well, you know what? I need one more. <laughs> where, where are, where did I put the note papers? There it is. Okay, so we need one note paper. We're going to be putting note papers on the backs of all of these. So um, we're going to turn this one over and we'll use our little goodie for this. So using items that I've already introduced into this um, set of journals, um, I'm only going to be making uh, not a lot of embellishments for this. Okay, so what I am making though is for the April Anything Goes A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. Remember, we do a challenge here each month and it does have prizes. For those that finish, finish on time and post their, their goodies, their requirements, um, they get invited to a party, a virtual internet party, where we will be uh, playing with their prize, which is a digital. It's a free Dare Julie Julie digital. Um, they get it first, and then it is put into the Etsy shop for sale for everybody else. Um, so... Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. They There's a special Facebook group just for those that are participating in the challenge and a place for them to post their items. We're going to go ahead and cut this right at the line just because I don't want that extra. And we'll put that right up here with 
with my other scraps put this over because I am trying to use my scraps so that gives me one and that that, that gives me a back which is two I'm gonna come over here to this this paper this is the paper we used for the o oval over the edge <laughs> I don't remember what they were, with the opalescent edge tags outrageous or something original oversize oval yes that's what they were <laughs> So yes, coming up with ideas, <laughs> things that start with the letter, all the letters of the alphabet has, has been interesting. So I do need to also take care of this, this edge over here. Okay. For some reason I ignored it. So we'll fix that right there. Okay. So that gives me. That's two. And then this one, that's going to be the back. I'm going to go ahead and put napkin on that. Okay. So that gives me something, make something with the, the scrap of napkin that was left. And I think... This is like the end of the napkin. I think we've done really good on using the napkin up. Okay. And just, I want, I want this B. I, I want both B's, I think. Okay. And I'm gonna put it on and fold it down or push it down um, where the fold was. And then carefully go around and make sure that it's all attached. And come back. And I'm gonna use my resist the sticky scissors because there, there was glue present. So I got potatoes planted today and I, I moved some things. I, I worked really hard in the garden. But it's so windy. <clears throat> I, I just, I was like, okay, I'm done. And usually... In some ways, I'm much further ahead in my garden than I am this year. And then in some ways, this year I'm further ahead. It's really kind of interesting. Um, because our freeze date, is, our last freeze date is, one thing says May 1st and one says May 15th. I know that we have had snow in May here before. Um, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I did, and this is the first year that I started seeds indoors. So, um, you know, doing a lot of getting their, getting things ready for them to go out. But heck, you know, on, I think it was Easter, we went to the, I think it was Easter. So there's my three. Okay. And so we're going to stack these up, all three of them facing the same direction. Okay. Three of them. And we're going to go ahead and I, this time I just need three cuts. So I'm going to cut it that way. Then I need to go ahead and put them back. So they are in the right order and we'll go ahead and cut that okay so
So that's what we got. Okay. Um, anyway, so we went and we went to the nursery and picked up plants. So we just have three of them. So we're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to skip one and come over. And this one is going to go here. And this one's going to go here. And this one's going to go here. These are quilted or patchwork tags. Okay. We're calling them quilted today. Now I have my backings. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> we need another backing. <laughs> Oops. I was like, I should do that on book paper and then I didn't. But that's okay. We'll just get another backing. Bloopers included. Sandy, the bloopers are included today. Um, so I picked up, they had strawberry plants in the six packs on sale, three for $10. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll get those because it doesn't seem like the beer root ones I got are doing anything. They're just, they have not done anything. And, um, I, <laughs> I want strawberries. So, um, so I got those and brought them home. And then yesterday I was looking the packages in the package. They're regularly five forty nine. So I told Tom, I said, Did you see that over there? I just need to use six of those and that will have paid for my shop lights that I bought. Cause I bought some little shop lights. I'll be um, posting all of that on my DIY home and garden channel. Um, hopefully later this week, I'll get a couple of videos up over there. If you haven't checked that out, it's Dear Julie Julie DIY home and garden. And it's, it's everything home and garden. Okie dokie. So we're going to end up with an extra one of these. That's okay. <laughs> these are going to be the backs. So we're going to go ahead and glue these onto the back. And I'll just pull out my little book here. And I'm going to use this use my um glue stick and go ahead and glue these together if i turn them sideways i might be able to see it wow it's really it's really grabby okay so one We'll do the first two and then I'll put them, I'll do the, the others. You don't think you need to, to watch the glue dry, right? <laughs> yeah. So can you believe it? It's the little six packs are five forty nine. I was, I was a little bit, um, in shock, a little bit in shock. I did not expect that that's what it, how much they were now but you know everything is might be kind of interesting to have your backs already on them and um have the back quilted okay so there we go i have this one set up and once I get it set up, I can go ahead and clean up any edges that just aren't quite right. There's my quilted quilted card. 
and our quilted tag and we'll have three of those. So let's go ahead and do the other two. Okay, so that gives me the three and you'll see, I, I think I've only ever had one out of the 50 to 100, well, I've done at least, I usually do um, five. I usually cut it in five pieces, so that usually gives me five tags. I know I've done it at least 10, probably more than 20 times, so I've probably made more than 100 of these, and I've only ever had one turn out that I didn't have to trim it. <laughs> so there's that. So, um, however many tags you want, that's how many you cut it into. If I'd have wanted to make, um, you know, six would have been the next number probably for me because I'm making three journals that I'm making alike or very similar. Okay, so we just... Okay, and very important, put the lid on the glue. Okay, so we have three quaint qu quilted tags. Okay, that's what we've got so far. So on to the next part. The next part I have um, the green, okay? And I am going to go ahead and stamp on the green with the blue or as we've been calling it other than black okay and this is we're going to consider this a quote i think it coming out of the Bible, it would be considered a quote. Okay. That was the other thing is Michelle was doing a haul video and she had gotten the, the quote things from Tim Holtz. And so that was another thing that was brought up for, for Q. And I was like, oh, well, I know what I'll do for that. I'll do one of the Bible verses. Okay. Okay, so for the challenge, you do not have to do all these alphabet things. Um, you just have to make your embellishment with something that starts with the letter, each letter of the alphabet. And, but I wanted to give you more options. So I came up with a few items like that today start with Q. Okay, so there, that is going to go there. And I barely left enough room for my, for my Q-tip flowers. But so Q-tip flowers, I'm going to do those with paint. I'm hoping that it, yeah, it started to come down. Okay. Okay. And I am making three, I think for the next uh, four things, I have to make three and then I will have all 12 of my um, things that I've made three of. Okay, I'm making a, whoop, oh well. <laughs> we might be using paint for a couple of things here. I wanted to use paint the other day. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking my paint is old. Oh my gosh, my paint is old. But that's okay. We just, whoa. <laughs> Maybe we should shake it first. Bloopers left in. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. Okay, so just get an idea of what this is going to look like. Okay, so I need to pull my Q-tips down so they're touching. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. Pulling each Q-tip down. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we'll go doom, doom, okay, oh, I didn't glue it down, oops, oops, glue, <laughs> my brain is, is already on are <laughs> like stop julie you haven't finished q yet <laughs> uh. oh can you hear the ice cream truck see if you can hear it say hello Did you hear it? <laughs> so Tom heard it and he totally said he could totally understand why I thought it was, why I thought it sounded like my mom. <laughs> it's like, that was so weird. So I talked about that in another video that I was out in the garden and it came on the Oh, you can hardly hear it. Anyway, it sounded to me, in, out in my garden, it sounded like my mom. Okay, well, I'm going to add there. Okay, and then I did have bring out the green. But I think I can use... A pen okay you see the there's on the look at on the napkin there's this one I didn't have any dark purple paint Okay, and then I think what I'll do is I will come in and add some of the dark purple. This will be better after it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I like that. After I think after that dries, I'll come back in and add some of the watercolor. Okay. These are from the Crayola um, pens. Okay, I like that. So we'll wait for that to dry and then I'm going to add that to that. We have the back. I like that it's um, nice and thin. Now you could go in and add like stitching around it to make it look like quilting. You could sew it. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to make a simple journal this time. Um, could add the bling in there. I really like that um, watercolor. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other three or the other two and we'll be back. I'm still waiting for these ones to dry. <laughs> oh, but I I like this. So we'll just doodle some leaves and stuff in here. I like the touch of green on these. I think that that was really cool. Then come over here. Looks like a little wildflower. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that gives me three more tags to add into my my things and then we've got these. All I did was add the the little dots. I'll be able to use that on something. And so all we're waiting for is for it to dry so we can add the purple watercolor. So we'll just go ahead, go up, adding purple. Okay. So, like a hollyhock kind of look, sort of. Of course, the hollyhock would have gigantic leaves. Just adding some extra dots around. <clears throat> okay, so there. Oh, this one. Okay, then some dots.
okay so all three different but adding in our q-tip flowers <clears throat> our quote on our quilted tags I think these are awesome so I'm going to continue to add the purple dots and the little tiny purple dots so um, a few across and then just up so a few across and just up so let me know if you try the q your q-tip flowers or if you get brave and do some doodling. Okay, look at that. Look at the transformation, okay? So starting with this, then this, and then this. So, so I'm gonna do that to these two and I'll, I'll also, well, let's, let me show you, I'll do it to this also. Okay, so we'll add some of the purple here. And you can see on the heart, it already has some of that um, like this, but it's single. Okay, so just adding in some extra. I love it. Which one is your favorite? I'm going to keep doing this because I've still got a pile of paint. Um, but these are today's Q, letter Q. We made quilted tags with Q-tip flowers and a quote. And we made three of them. So I get to put a star next to that. Um, that means I've got another three items. And then I've got three of these little guys. I've got three of these tags that will be ready. And I have three hearts that can go on something in the journal as well. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, yeah, three quote, <laughs> Q-tip flower quote quilted tags. There you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Make sure you put your ideas for the letter Q in the comments down below. Don't forget the challenge is still open and the details videos in the description box down below. Just follow, watch the video, follow the directions. We'd love to have you join us. And also don't forget, we're here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time with a brand new video. This month, we are going through the alphabet A to Z, and that's for our challenge. And we use a premier format, so that means that we have a live chat. You just hit that live chat button right down there to come on in and join us, and I hope you will. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.